extremely big, very, very bulky. So I am wearing this bulky sweater because the honest truth is when the time is cold, I like to put on a big bulky sweater like I'm wearing right now. It's very cold, it's snowing outside, and I am inside keeping warm and making videos. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now guys, guess what? I am going to show you how you can make a one step facial wash, facial mask, facial scrub at home. It is a simple recipe made up of ingredients that can help to clean the skin, tighten the skin, exfoliate the skin. So it's really a unique combination of ingredient and you're going to use this in a unique way. I'm so proud of this mix because guess what guys, there are no liquid involved in this mix and that's what makes it amazing. So if you're looking for that one step, anti-aging facial wash, facial exfoliator or facial mask that you can basically keep on your shelf or in your bathroom on the countertop, then guess what guys? This video is for you. So guess what? Let's get in the kitchen and I'll show you how to blend these things up and make this amazing anti-aging facial mixture. So let's go do this. To make this recipe, you're definitely going to need a blender, preferably a small blender, okay? Now, you're also going to need a jar with a tight cover for storing. You want to make sure when you close the jar, there's no hair getting in. So, preferably one of these jar with the rubber around it, okay? If not, just use a tight lid container. All right, so the very first thing we're going to use for this recipe is some oatmeal. And take a look at the oatmeal up close. You do not want the oatmeal that is already mixed with sugar. You need a plain old oatmeal, okay? Now the main reason for using the oatmeal is because it contains an ingredient called saponins which are a natural cleanser. Therefore, it will help to get rid of the grease, the dirt from your skin, exfoliate the skin. It will also help to clean those pores out and another benefit from this oatmeal is that it will also help to tighten the skin. An amazing ingredient to use for cleansing your skin. So what I'm going to do with this oatmeal, I am going to be blending. So I'm going to use a quarter cup of oatmeal. Pour this in our blender and I'm going to blend this to a powder. And take a look at this. This is your blended oatmeal blend to a powder. Now let's just pour this up. <coughs> And take a look at it up close. As you can see, it is a very, a very powdery. And this is exactly how you want the oatmeal to be. Now we're going to put the oatmeal to the side. And we're going to move on to our next ingredient. And take a look at what I have here. Here I have some white rice. Now guys, you can get creative with the rice. You can use black rice or you can use some purple rice. You can use some brown rice. Just use the rice you have, okay? Now rice helps to increase the collagen in the skin. It also helps to prevent wrinkles and fine lines. Rice helps to hydrate the skin and keep the skin soft and supple. It is loaded with antioxidants that benefit your skin. It's an amazing ingredient to use on your skin to cleanse your skin from grease and dirt. Now, just as with the oatmeal, I am gonna be blending a quarter cup of white rice. And here it is, guys. Here we have our rice powder. And let's just dump this out for you to see. And you want it to be just like this, very fine powder. You can feel a little bit of the granules in it, but as you can see, it is powdery enough, and this is exactly how you want to blend your rice. So we are moving on. Now take a look at what I have here. You might be wondering what this is. It is dried orange peel. Now you can dry orange peel, you can dry 
lemon peel, you could also try lime peel, grapefruit peel, you name it. They all have one very important antioxidant and that is vitamin C. Now vitamin C will help to brighten that skin, okay? And it will help to boost the collagen and elastic in the skin, which is the secret to beautiful skin. It can make your skin look youthful and bright and it also helps to improve oily skin and make the skin soft, smooth and firm. So as you can see, it's an amazing ingredient to use on your skin to cleanse your skin. Now, how do I make dried orange peel? I simply just peel my orange and put the peel in a brown paper bag and put it in a dark area in the kitchen pantry. So now that we know why we're using the dried orange peel and its many benefits, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna blend to a powder. Now you can substitute the dried orange peel, as I said, for dried lemon peel or lime peel or even grapefruit peel, okay? So we are blending just a few pieces. Use your discretion with this. We're gonna cover and we're gonna blend to a powder. Now and take a look at this. Here we have our dried orange peel powder. And we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump this in the bowl and take a look at it up close. The color is so pretty. Take a look at it, dried orange peel powder. You can actually use the dried orange peel by itself on your skin, no joke, with some brown sugar. All right, so we are gonna put this aside and we're gonna move on to our next ingredient. So the next ingredient that I'm gonna be using is green tea. So there are two types of tea you can use in this. You can use green tea leaves, which is preferable, or you can use some chamomile tea. You can even choose to use some matcha powder in this recipe. Green tea has benefit for your skin in many different ways. It can help to protect the skin from premature aging. It helps to reduce redness. It also helps to heal damage, sunburn. Green tea also help to tighten and firm the skin. It helps to hydrate the skin. And I could just go on and on and on with the many benefits of the green tea. Now guys, I am using two tea bags. If you have loose leaf, use two teaspoons of the green tea. And although they are in tea bag forms, I'm gonna blend to a powder. So do the same if you are using loose leaf, just pour it in the blender and further blend it to a powder. Blend. Look, here we have our blended green tea, blend to a powder. And as with the rest, we are just gonna dump it in and up close, very, very powdery. This is how you need your green tea, or if you're using chamomile, you're gonna blend just the same. Now let's do a quick recap. So we're gonna start with the last one, which is our powdered green tea. We're also gonna be using some powdered dry orange peel. We're gonna be using some powdered rice. We're also gonna be using some powdered oatmeal. And we have some optional ingredient, which we will get to at the end. So we are gonna put this together. Now we're gonna start off with a quarter cup of the blended rice. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna take our quarter cup of blended oatmeal. We're gonna pour it in the rice. And we're gonna mix well. We're next gonna reach for our dried orange peel powder. And for the dried orange peel, we're using about three tablespoons of the dried orange peel, give or take. We're pouring this in. And now we're reaching for the green tea. And this is gonna be about two tablespoons of the green tea powder. And we're pouring that in. And what you're gonna do, you are just gonna fold this in. You're gonna mix well. You can even choose to put this back in the blender and blend.
now you might be asking why I didn't blend everything together because they all have different consistency so you do not want to blend let's say the rice with the oatmeal because the oatmeal is going to blend way before the rice and that is the reason why we blend everything separately so that each individual ingredient will be able to be blended to a complete powder okay now guys i have two optional ingredients optional here i have some fuller's herb and you can choose to add a little fuller's herb to this recipe especially for those with wrinkled skin so not a lot i'm just going to use about a, a teaspoon of the fuller's herb remember it is optional you do not need a lot i also have another optional ingredient which is a turmeric powder great for washing your skin for brightening the skin you can choose to use either or either or you can leave them out completely and for the turmeric powder it's just a pinch that i'm putting in this just a pinch not a lot so just drop that in and cover again and this time we're going to blend everything together now they are going to blend it together because they are all and blend here it is guys take a look at this Ooh my goodness just an amazing fragrance coming from this here we have our face wash now let's pour this in the bowl for you to see whoops it's so powdery and take a look at this guys look at it up close everything is blended together and you get this nice color this is our face wash believe it or not and the beauty of this face wash is that it is all dry so the only time you're going to use any form of a liquid in this is when you are ready to use it so what we're going to do going to reach for our jar and we're going to scoop this in the jar so let's fill our jar up Mm -hmm. such an amazing fragrance now take a look at this guys here we have our all natural omega facial cleanser now anyone can use this cleanser is pretty easy to use what you do you take your cleanser and you do not need a lot a little goes a long way this is probably even too much you place your cleanser in your hands like this you take a little bit of a water and you can use this in the shower so you add a little bit of a water to the cleanser in your hands and you mix it up in your hands like I'm showing here. And you can choose to mix it as soft as you want it or as thick as you want depending on what you're using it for. If you're using it to exfoliate your skin, make it a little more like this. If you're using it to wash your face, you make it a little softer. And if you're using it for a facial mask, you make it even more softer, okay? So once you make it like this, as you can see, this is totally in a paste. You're just gonna rub it like this in your hands and you're gonna use it to wash your face. So you're just gonna rub it on your face face your neck your decollete and circular motion and you are washing your face you're going to rinse it off with some warm water if you're exfoliating your skin with it as i said you make it a little drier and you exfoliate your skin for about three minutes if you're using it as a facial mask you just make it like i showed here and you apply it on your skin and leave it on for 30 minutes and then you rinse off really a very versatile and amazing facial wash that you can keep in the bathroom for about three months since it's a little damp however you can keep this in your refrigerator for about six months or more just a one-time make you can even choose to double up on the ingredient so you don't have to make it a lot and it's not gonna go bad and that is what is good about this another way to use this is that you could get a cheap facial wash and you can actually mix this with your facial wash just before you use it awesome awesome result okay